It's possible that after a power failure, your computer will not boot and will begin to make a loop of trying to boot and then shut itself down again and again. You can try launch the automatic repair, but it doesn't work. You try to restore or you try all the other options, nothing is working. Computer is not booting. This happens because a setting in the BIOS has changed. And unless you change it back, the computer will not boot. To do this, entering the BIOS in every computer is something else. In this HP machine, you need to press on F10 rapidly. Then navigate to storage options. And whatever the setting is, change it to the other one. Then save the changes and exit. When the computer will ask you if you want to start Windows normally, you should choose it. This is an example of HP and Windows 7. In another case, this can happen also in Windows 10. The computer start to enter the repairing mode. And you're trying to diagnose and you're trying all kinds of automatic repair that eventually will not work. In this example, this is a Dell machine, and to enter the BIOS, you can click rapidly on F12 key. After you enter the BIOS, you can find the SATA operation menu. You can see that it changes to RAID ON. This is the default setup, the factory setting of the BIOS. You change it to HE. Then click OK and exit. And now the computer will boot normally. This happens because there is a component on the motherboard, a battery, that her job is to save the settings for the BIOS. If this battery is drained out, all the settings are lost, but you never know it unless you unplug the computer or experience a power failure. In order that this will not happen the next time you have a power failure, you need to replace this battery 
on the motherboard with a new one. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, like and comment.